X-Men 3, The Last Stand. The cure was a good idea for Plaza Fights and really, the fe- really holds up in the X-Men trilogy. Or if you want to call it that. Casual movie fans, casual movie goers enjoy X-3. Hardcore comic book fans, not so much. The cure was a good idea though. X-1, machine turns everything into mutants. X-2, machine destroys all humans or all mutants. X-3, device cures mutants. Makes sense. Do I agree with how it was executed? Not really. Guess something for Rogue to do and disclosure, albeit it seemed like she was basically burning off the series, the info, I don't even know her contract was ending or whatever, so that didn't make any sense. Gene Scott Wolverine had nothing to do with this. Gene being a mutant who can destroy everything would, would be a perfect time to introduce a cure thing for her. Have her kill Wolverine or something in, in the process of getting cured. That one made some very interesting drama. Nope, nothing interesting happened. Nothing really intellectual is done with this plot device. Like, if it's the mold of the plots all over X-Men films, but it doesn't really do anything to make you debate the ethics of it for that much. Just a lot of cool looking things and some debate from Halle Berry of all people that they didn't really, they talked about it, but they didn't really show a situation with it. That's basically what I summarize about that. The Worthington's also could have been a really cool character that introduced the series on par with Main Joe Striker. Nope. Angel's a cameo, basically. The other guy's a sitcom actor who doesn't play a role in any of the X-Men films. 